Hey you, what it do? It's just me, Evolution of Beauty, and I'm coming at you with another video. So, today we are going to revisit the Cantu Shea Butter line. Okay, I've already done several videos, and I think the last one I did was of the custard. Cracking the custard coat. Alright, so even though I liked that product mixture, the Cantu um, Curling Custard and the Shea Moisture Curling Gel Souffle, sometimes I can be kind of lazy, and I don't like to do extra extra <laughs> I liked it but I wanted to revisit something else that I noticed actually did do a great job at defining my curls without the added um, extra weight or tackiness of the custard and the uh, souffle um, and also I've come to the re realization that my hair does not like custard yeah. Hmm. Excuse me. Yeah. My hair does not like custards. My hair likes gels, but custards, it really does not like. Because I've tried a lot of different custards, and I have to either manipulate the product to make it work, or the product just did not mix well with my hair. It was not the products. It was not the leave-in conditioners. It was the custard. So, I have yet to find the perfect custard for my hair. So we're gonna stick with gels. But in the meantime, this wash and go is featuring the Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream and the Coconut Curling Cream. So I've already started the back as per usual. And I am going to continue on with the front. So my hair has been freshly co-washed and I did not detangle. So I'm going to re-wet it and in this spray bottle I revisited another product that I used to love um, and it is the Hawaiian Silky Miracle Worker 14-in-1 Moisturizing Spray. Yeah, I know, long name. But that stuff is absolutely amazing. It aids in hair growth. I have all my clients using it, and their hair grows like weeds using it, and it stays moisturized. And when they get protective styles, like such as crochet braids, they use that spray, and they leave their hair in for up to three months. When I take their hair down, you can still feel the moisture in their hair. Now, yeah, I absolutely loved the Hawaiian Silky. Now, I also love the S Curl No Drip Activator. So those two are very high on my list. The only reason why I stopped using either one is because I went through a period of not using um, silicones in my hair. But I have since started back using cones and these two products are just absolutely amazing for moisture uh, as you can see it really helps me to detangle I love them and so I'm going to seal that in with my oil mixture And then I am going to apply the um, coconut curling cream first. To the section. I love the smell of the Cantu products it has like a tropical scent but not like a fresh tropical scent it's kind of a manufactured tropical scent much like the scents that they will put in maybe a, a body spray or something it's a manufactured kind of tropical scent so for some it could be overly fruity and for others they may actually really like it so I'm going to take my brush and I am going to brush that product through and 
And now I'm going to follow up with the Curl Actor Fader Cream. This cream has amazing slip. And I noticed before when I tried to pair the Cantu Custard with the cream that this stuff by itself actually did a pretty good job at defining, it, defining my curls on its own and um, with no need of added product. I did try the Curl Activator Cream with a gel, but as with a lot of Cantu products, they don't play well with other products, i.e. gels and such. So I have not found a gel that I like that I actually use as my staple that would mix well with this Curl Activator Cream. And um, curling cream. I haven't found a gel that mixed well um, with either one. So I decided to try these products together with nothing else. Okay, so that's how that's looking. So I will do this section right here and then I'll just come back later when um, my hair is 100% dry to let you see the outcome and see how well these products do on my hair my oil mixture again detangle my curling cream I feel so much better now that I have my nails done. Nailsies! <laughs> a hairstylist, well, I can't, I can't really even say that because there are some that have nails on, but sometimes, most for the most part, they don't wear nails. <laughs> so I don't always wear nails. I, I put nails on like on special occasions or if the hubby requests for me to have my nails done other than that it's just my own nails and they look terrible because i'm always in water and they're dry and brittle and they always break i can never keep polish on them so <laughs> but it just makes you feel so much girly so much more girly rather and uh you know when people on youtube always um, doing product reviews and doing makeup tutorials and hair tutorials and they're showing you products and you're pointing and your nails are always done and mine are like little studies. <laughs> yeah. Makes me feel all fancy like. <laughs> Alright, so that's that section. So I'll come back when it's dry and let you see the finished result. Okay. Laters. All right, hey you guys. So I came back just to let you see how my hair looks now that the product is all applied. I wanted to come back while my hair is still wet so that we can do comparison from wet to dry. So this is how it's looking right now. And then I'll show you the other side. And of course the front. All right, so I'll be back when my hair is 100% dry so that we can discuss. All righty, laters times two. <laughs> so hey guys, I am back and my hair is approximately 90% dry and these are my results. So 
so my hair is very nicely defined it has a flexible hole which i love it is fluffy bouncy moisturized and has lots of shine um i did let my hair air dry for approximately two hours and then i went in on um with my hair dryer for about 20 minutes to uh, complete the drying process so as far as the coconut curling cream goes this did a great job at adding lots of moisture to my hair not so much uh, definition of curl with this product but for moisture it is amazing and it says on here it defines and moisturizes dry damaged hair so yeah i would definitely use this for moisture i just wish that this product mixed well with the gels that i use i haven't used every gel in the world but i've used a lot of gels and the gels that i tried to pair this with it did not work so if you have any experience with this coconut um curling cream um pairing it with a gel let me know what gel you used um and how well it worked together but for a wash and go this did great for moisture um, for my hair so as far as the moisturizing curl activator cream this stuff is absolutely amazing i love this stuff now this um defines my curls by itself and it does give a little bit of hold so the combination of these two gives me the moisture and the hold that i really do like um this will upon filling my hair and like I said it's not totally dry it's like 90% dry um, I'm gonna ban this overnight and I am pretty sure I can get at least a two-day wash and go maybe even a three um, but my hair does have a definite hold but it's a very soft flexible hold so this product says it produces frizz free smooth bouncy curls and yes that is true it activates curls delivers volume and adds shine and that is also true i love the slip on this product and um yeah it did a great job i am very very impressed for such a long time i did not think that a cream product could define uh, my texture here being a 4b a coily texture but um yeah I, w I was wrong so i'm sure now that there are other cream products that will define um coily textured hair um for b um such as myself but i am going to go even further to say that it depends on your density of hair so if i me being 4b 4c with some 4a um had a hair texture that was much more dense than what it is now i might not have gotten the definition that i have now using these products or using a cream product for a wash and go now using them for a twist out that's a different thing but yeah i do i do and i will say that um cream products will define coily hair depending on your hair density so yeah love these two um go to for wash and goes staple so yeah i think that's gonna conclude my can to no i'm gonna do one more because i have not done a twist out so the next one i'll probably do a twist out with the coconut curling cream all right you guys thank you for tuning into this video hope you enjoyed it until the next time you have an awesome day and peace to you bye